Got it. This is a 14th century trebuchet. We're still experimenting because there's, there's not much detail that you can find on the internet about it. This is the trigger mechanism and this is the trigger. I hook this one just on here, you can, it's secured to the end of the pole here. And then this is just a slip, slip off sling. This is our cannonball, this golf ball. Slips into the sling and comes down and is laid along the catapult trough. And then you can see the two trigger releases come together. It's a simple slip on ring, which is dangerous. <laughs> Just have it all set up before you actually attach the trigger. Because if you've got your head in the road, it's going to give you a bit of what for. Right, there it is all set up now. It's counterbalance weights so a whole pile of rock like they used to use in the 14th century. And the trigger mechanism is quite simple. It only takes about one ounce of strength to pull it. And there it goes. For the scale model of this, I just fired that golf ball um, 60 feet, which is absolutely perfect as far as the scale of it is concerned. There's the golf ball here. So I'm in a position now that I can put it on my front veranda and take out the postman. 